and welcome to ECS Coffee. We're here today in Burlington with Rebecca and we're going to cover some Baratza grinders with you today. Uh, we have a couple of Encores and a Virtuoso Plus. So we're going to start now by going through all the differences. Absolutely. So going down the line, we have the um, Baratza Encore, the, the classic one. Right. And then we have the Baratza Encore ESP, which is brand new. If you haven't watched our review on that uh, grinder yet, make sure to go and watch that, check that out. Mm -hmm. And we have the Virtuoso Plus. So all of these grinders have some similarities and they of course have some differences as well. So starting at the Encore, over here we've got a grinder, a conical burr grinder with M3 burrs, which are different than the gr burrs that are in the Brazza Encore ESP and the Virtuoso Plus. These are called M2. Too. Yeah, and we'll talk more about the differences in those mm -hmm. guys a little bit later and show you a comparison because yeah. they visually look different. It's got 40 grind settings. It has an on off switch on the side and a pulse, pulse doser on the front. It comes with just the catch basket, but then there are accessories that you can purchase like a single dose hopper and all of that fun nice. stuff. Mm -hmm. This grinder is definitely geared more towards the drip coffee drinker or the um, French press coffee drinker. I think most like of that. us at work here have one of these. Yes, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Going up from there, we've got the new Baratza Encore ESP. We've been waiting for this for I a know. while, so we were pretty excited when it finally arrived. And we love it. I'm a yeah. really big fan of this guy here. Right. So again, 40 grind sizes, but half of them are for strictly espresso. So you've got one through 20 is espresso, and then 21 through 40 is for your um, pour over or drip up to cold brew. So perfect overall. Yeah, yes. Yeah. We did notice that as you got coarser, um, the consist consistency lessened mm -hmm. and, the, the static went up. and the static went up, mm -hmm. but still performs well. Right. This is the Virtuoso Plus. So this guy's got 40 grind settings as well. This has also the M2 burrs, just like the Bratz Encore ESP. And it has a timer on the front, so you can set your dose time. So this one's more powerful. It's freaking hefty as well, like you can feel the difference. Right. Um, and we've got all of our grinders set at 30. So we were going to go through and test the noise and the grind consistency and any kind of thing else that we notice while grinding on each um, grinder. Yeah, see. because people were going, I know right away, um, yeah. thinking ahead, that they'll say, okay, why would I buy this now over this? So Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So this one is, the Encore is priced at approximately 200 approximately 200 Canadian. Canadian dollars. <laughs> Always in Canadian. Uh, the Encore ESP is priced around 280 Canadian, and the Virtuoso Plus is around 320 Canadian. Oh, so not a huge difference between these two. No, it's not. So you're saving, of course, with the materials used. This one has the stainless steel casing here, as well as the timer. Mm -hmm. And I'm also curious to see the grind consistency and the grind size within the espresso range that we have on the ESP. Right. That would versus be. Versus what it is on the Encore and the Virtuoso right. Plus, too. That's awesome. Good. To see. No, yeah. That's, that's good to so, see. So we'll let's, start with this one. Yeah. So how... We don't need a lot. No, just to see the, the loud a little bit. Yeah. It's very chunky. Is it? Well, it's all over the place too, in my opinion. Like the grind size differences. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I experience at home too. I don't think I've ever been above the 30 on yeah, this. Yeah, it's very, very, very yeah. coarse there. All right. All right. So this and one's then, at 30 also? Yep. So it just sounded. It did better. A little bit different. That's oh, a big difference. It is. Wow. Whoa. Oh yeah. Okay. So okay. now let's do let's do thirty on this one okay. then. Give okay. it a push. I don't know what to expect. I don't know. I think it. I don't know. What I are you thinking? Know. Well, we're not in the espresso range, so we're not using this to full, its full advantage. No, of, we're not. Oh, I've just got some fines in here. I'm going to regrind, like yeah. from when we were changing yeah. the grind size. Yeah. So, quietest overall, yeah. for sure. Even with the heavier motor. I know. Hmm. See? Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, what I'm thinking... Okay, hear me out. Okay. Maybe I'm completely wrong. No. So, if this... 
this is kind of in the middle of the drip to yeah, French press, right. and this is not now. Yeah. This is towards the coarse end. So yep. this middle might be 20, whereas this middle is 30. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely know. right. So have a look at this. So we've got Encore, Encore ESP, and Virtuoso Plus. So the Virtuoso Plus and the Encore, it's the same kind of grind size, so really, really coarse. Chunky. Yeah, very chunky. All right, interesting. So big difference, So eh? can we just do this one at... Do you wanna do it at 40? Yeah, I'm thinking that's what it's gonna be at. Okay. I don't know. Absolutely. That's where you're at. That's the same. Yeah. So definitely giving you a lot wider range in grind sizes with this. Really? Yeah. Which because is Because this is kind of like the cutoff is at 40. Yes. Whereas that this is all the way, the range is so all the way. These guys will get Wow, I couldn't imagine going any coarser than what we did with the 30. No. What would you even use that for? Well, Cold brew, I mean. But at home, I don't use. No. Um, I would never use a 40 on here. No. I, I always say the last 10 are, yeah. are no use to me. So there we go. That's very interesting, right. actually. Uh, okay, so I guess let's go into the espresso range now mm -hmm. and see what is offered for us there. Mm -hmm. So we're at number 10. So should be espresso grind. Yeah, okay. So that would be suitable for... It's like bigger sand, but yeah, it is. It's like, pretty good. Yeah. Like Hario or yeah. Aeropress, you'd be yeah. good for that, or a mocha pot yeah, on the stove. for sure. Okay, and then... Oh, we have okay, to grind some. <laughs> well, that's really fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's really fine. Again, that's the middle of the espresso range, so... Yeah. It's like powder. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Big difference. Dun dun dun. And this one is probably the same as this. As the Encore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh. Hmm. Ah. Uh, Maybe not. No, it's, it feels a little finer. Yeah. Yeah. So it's somewhere. It's the sharper blades. It's the sharper blades. So it's probably it's in between here, right? For sure. But I know, I guess the jump from ten to like five on this one will be greater than on this one, right? Than on this one. Okay. Okay. There we go. Very interesting. So yeah, definitely. Why? Why are you laughing? Oh. So definitely for espresso lovers, mm -hmm. this one would be okay for espresso lovers. Yes. And this one would be. So what it's, I have found when I'm trying to dial in a really good espresso machine with this grinder is you have to play around not just with your grind size, but the amount that yes. you put in the porta filter. Yeah. Because if you're one click away from perfection, yep. you just don't have that movement. No, so you don't. That's where this would be helpful. The micro adjustments yeah, just aren't sure. there. But it, mm -hmm. we, like we said, we have gotten decent espresso shots with the Encore yes. from espresso machines, but it leaves room for improvement. Yes. Um, or is this is the improvement. This is the improvement right there. And mm -hmm. it does have the little, where did it go? Uh, the little basket as well for your dosing cup, which is nice. I love this. Yeah, I do too. So, hmm. I, oh. I'm st I still can't get over the th how big the grind size 30 was on the Plus and the Encore. Yeah, I've all, I've been, it's from day one, I've been shocked oh. that I would never use the top 10. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. Okay, very cool. So this guy, um, I would say, I would recommend definitely to customers that want more of a drip coffee. And drip, that's what, yeah. what they're drinking, oh, yes, that's for it. Sure. Yeah. This is a great, great grinder for people that are doing both. So we have a lot of customers that come into the store that have multiple ways to brew coffee. Or they're thinking ahead, saying yes. they didn't want to be pigeonholed into one thing and then grow out of it. Absolutely. And since this grinder isn't like crazy break in the bank, it's, it's 
you know, you're not spending I think this might be my go-to now. Yeah. Now that I can see what Absolutely. it does. Because you yeah. have so much room for improvement with yeah. your espresso. You have all these. You have only 20 espresso grind sizes, but 20 is still a decent amount when it's as consistent as it is. It is, yeah, yeah. for sure. And then this one would be for people... I mean, you could do espresso machines. You could. It. You absolutely could. But, but it's supposed to be a workhorse, the improved yeah. motor, so that it doesn't create heat and static. Yes. For larger absolutely. volumes. Yeah. Right. So if you, yeah, if you are going to be grinding a lot, if you think you're going to, if you have a larger household, you're going to be grinding mass amounts of for drip, for drip, or for anything like that. Or that, pre grinding, so you don't want to wake somebody up. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Then this would be great. But um, yeah, this is going to be my go-to. I think now too. Yeah. I like there it. You go. <laughs> so about the burrs, we're going to take these guys apart and show you the differences between the M2 burr and the M3 burr. Which I'd never taken a close look at because I'm just used to popping them in and out, but yeah. no didn't really pay attention to their shape, so it'd be good to show. Yeah, yeah. so let's, uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so we popped um, the hoppers off, and now we're going to show you the different burrs and the different, I call them the feeding tubes, just because it, it kind of explains that it's feeding the beans in, but yeah. it, it is a gasket, uh, because sometimes people try and stretch them too much to yeah, get them on. to get them on. And then yep. end up wrecking them and have to get um, another one. Not that they're expensive, but they just kind of sit in place. Yeah. So you so want to, we just replaced the Encore um, feeding tube gasket <laughs> <laughs> today. So these are the burrs that are in the Bratza Encore. So if you take the gasket off. So it was just set around. Um, there's a couple of notches here. You'll see that the on the edges of the burrs, they almost look a little bit rounded. So when those burrs splay out, the surfaces are flat and then the edges are what's sharp. So it, this is the M3 burr. Um, when you initially get this um, grinder, the, the red is worn off, but there's a red dot. Um, so when you pop this burr, uh, the top burr out, it seats back in in the five o'clock position. It's just worn off. We've had this grinder around for a long time long and time. it's still performing yeah. really well. Yeah, no complaints. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna move on to the ES Bratza Encore ESP. Or is it just ESP now? It's Encore ESP. Yeah, it is yeah. Encore yeah. ESP. So it's very uh, well marked in its positioning. Yes. So what they've done different, if, I'll tilt that back again. So this is um, a flywheel if you wanted to unscrew anything. And this has got an unlocking mechanism that's just a, you just turn this and it should pop off. Yep. And this is your little gasket. Is the gasket. So yeah. everybody's not trying to like line it up and, and set it in. It just sits right in. Um, and then we can describe the burrs. Yes, yeah, so this guy has the M2 burrs. So you'll notice a really big comparison. Yeah. Let's tilt the Encore down. You can see that the M2 burrs are sharp. It's like a star. The points are very prominent. And then on the M3 burrs, they're a little bit rounded, a little bit flatter. So the M2 burrs, the, it's razor sharp. It's giving you that consistency. It's reducing your static. It's increasing the... Um, how fast the burrs, or the beans go through the burrs, and of course it's better for espresso. Awesome. It gives you better espresso right. grind. Mm -hmm. And over to the virtuoso plus. Right. Tilt this guy over. So you can tell this one has been very well used. Yes, it has. Yes, this is a <laughs> so great grinder. This one is just again a couple of notches sitting around, and the red is not worn off. This one, no. it's still. This uh, is a newer grinder. Right. Yeah. Five o'clock position. The burrs uh, set in, right in that notch. Yeah. If you can't figure out, just think five o'clock. And then the burrs again. And the, yes, and the M2 burr. So sharper here, it looks like a little star. Um, but you'll notice that it's not as easy to take apart the burrs, to take about your Right, take I was apart thinking there's, there's nothing there to unscrew it. Yeah, I've never gone and done that myself. Um, right. And I don't necessarily think you would need to unless you needed to do some sort of deep cleaning. So I just wanted to show you how easy it is to just slide the top burr off. So obviously you don't want to use water, but you could wipe that down now that we have it off. Yes. And then it's just sitting in here. So I'm besides this and vacuuming out and giving it a good clean with the tree brush. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gone any further than that. And my machine's been performing my grinder for a long time. And I don't think we've ever needed to do that on the Encore as well. And like we said, it, we've had that as a demo mm -hmm. for a while. So it gets a lot of use. Right. Um, it's very well loved. And we've just only had to replace the gasket because it disappears. It disappeared. 
<laughs> it yeah. grew legs and walked away. No, so what happens uh, a lot of times, people will come back in and say, oh, I can't get my grinder together. And yeah. then when we take it apart to show them, it doesn't always get put back in the right position. Yes, exactly right. Right. So you could, in theory, um, go ahead and purchase yourself a M2 burr and upgrade your Brazza Encore grinder. Hmm. Have to look into that. Yeah, I'm not sure how functional that is. Functional it is. I'm not sure if it's even worth it for you to upgrade your burrs hmm. um, because I've never done it myself. I, I assume that you would get more consistency with your espresso grind, right. of course, but is it worth it then just to get a different grinder? You know, yeah, because know. mine is, is yeah. so well loved. I know. I would like for maybe leave this one set up for when I'm doing drip. Yeah. And then get maybe another one. Yes, exactly. <laughs> have two A grinders. different color. <laughs> Just have two grinders, two different colors yeah. for different functions. We have two of everything at our house, so why yeah, not? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it is an option though. So if you do have an encore and you're looking at these burrs and you're thinking, oh, those look really great. In the meantime, why don't I do that? Those are available. Um, we'll have the price point right here for the M2 burrs if you wanted to grab some of those. I know we, we do carry... But we don't even know what's involved with... Uh, I don't know how you would do that. That You would have to go and look up how to... Change it. Change it safely and effectively and properly without damaging anything. Um, <laughs> but you can do it. I know that you can and it's available and for you to do that. we have technicians that can do that. Yes, yes. If you want to come in and have them change your burrs, you're more than welcome to come by and drop your grinder off and uh, have it wait, upgraded. Have it upgraded. I think it's a couple weeks out yeah. for the yeah. uh, encores yeah. and the brasses, but you yeah. could. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's great. So that is these grinders. I mean, I love all of them, but I'm super stoked to have the ESP here. Mm -hmm. it's, I, it's, I think it's, it's going to awesome. fly. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Great. All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in again, guys. We hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe helped you narrow down your decision on which Barata Encore grinder is right for you, or Barata grinder in general is right for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like our content. Leave us a comment down below for any questions or concerns. Remember to follow us on all of our social media channels here <laughs> and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload new content. Thank you. All right. See you Bye -bye. soon. Bye. Bye.